Hi, I'm Mike with the Hardwood Artisans, and I'm about to demonstrate how to assemble a library wall bed. I want to start with showing you the hardware. I got a bunch of little bags here labeled, and um, it'll be in one big bag. And uh, when, uh, when you start to assemble it, you'll have a bag like this that'll say footboard, roof, and headboard. What that will do is uh, connect these three pieces right here to the sides of the cabinet. You'll have a bag that says uh, to attach crown. The long bolts are used to attach the crown to the very top. You'll see holes that go through the top of the wall units and holes that go through this roof. And then where the bolts are used to attach the crown. You'll have a bag that says uh, L brackets that go to the roof and subfloor. You've got uh, three L brackets that get mounted on the top. You can put them on the crown and you use that to attach it to the wall. The other four go on the subfloor here that you use to attach to the subfloor and to the side of the cabinet. You have bags that say shelf pins. They'll say shelves. The uh, rubber tipped ones are for glass and the ones that are solid brass are for wood. You also have leveler feet caps. There's leveler feet in the bottom of each wall unit and also in the sliding bookcases when we put a cover on the roof we use these caps to cover them holes. We have uh, a bag called track and this is what you screw the track to the front of the cabinet. You'll see holes right here these one inch screws is what you use to attach this to the front of the cabinet. Those holes also get covered with the leveler feet caps. These short screws are used to attach the L bracket to the cabinet. The longer screws are for the L brackets on the roof that you attach to the wall into studs. This is a mercury switch that gets mounted on the foundation of the bed. I'll show how, how, you, how that's done. And you use these short screws to attach that too. So now we'll uh, give us a brief moment and we'll uh, move some stuff out of the way and show you how to uh, assemble the cabinet. These are the bolts that we use to connect the roof, headboard, and footboard. Right here. They go through the side of each piece into the wall unit. So here Frank, go on up there and connect this side. What it is, there's a T-nut on a block like this that holds the roof and uh, footboard and headboard on. And that bolt just goes right through the, through the headboard into that T-nut and locks it in place. Sorry, six more. See these holes that are on the side? This is the headboard. What you do with the headboard, it's a tight fit.
right there. Now this footboard and track gets mounted the same way. Once that's installed, then you want to start sliding the subfloor forward. Not always real easy, but it'll get there. Okay, now at this point you want to start uh, doing your wire management. Uh, instead of trying to bring the camera to the roof, I'm going to explain to you by showing you this touch dimmer. What we have here is the touch dimmer is on the roof. We have the cord running down so it can be plugged into the mercury switch. Now this is the wire that's behind the headboard. It's this thin wire right here. What you do is you, you run that wire up to the roof plug this this little piece right here into that little track right there, the little hole on the side of the touch dimmer box. Okay, once you have that hooked up you can take these wires and run them in the dado on the side of the cabinet, on the back side, like that, just to hide the wire. Now we're installing the crown. This is the very top piece that goes over the, the roof of the Murphy bed and goes on top of the wall units. I already got it pretty much all bolted together, but this is how it gets done. You'll see holes in the roof 
You run a bolt in there, this one right here, You just turn it like that. There'll be four here and two in each wall unit. And these are the, where the L brackets go for the sub floor. I'm not going to screw them in. But I'll show you where they go. You screw them in just like that. One half on the subfloor, the other half on the side of the Murphy bed cabinet. We're getting ready to mount the sliding doors on the front of this cabinet. I already have it mounted to the wall, so uh, you, you want that done before you do this, so it don't tip over on you. Make sure you have a stud finder, and uh, find two studs up there, three studs, and, and mount the L bracket on the roof and into the studs. You have to hit studs on this. Um, if you have a plaster or concrete wall, you're going to need uh, to get some hardware to accommodate that. And you're going to want to make sure you have some good solid hardware. You want this thing mounted to the wall firmly because when you lower this bed down and it's not, it could tip over. So make sure you mount them L brackets to something very firm. If it's sheetrock, it must be in studs. And uh, make sure it's uh, mounted firmly so that it don't tip over. Now, once that's done, you want to mount the sliding bookcases. You have these little plastic clips on the roof and the part that goes in that metal track is this part goes in first. This part here goes in last. Don't reverse it. It will be very difficult to get it out. Okay. So when you slide this on these wheels, this little groove right here, okay, little groove right here. All right, you want to make sure that this part here goes in first. All right, these little ears stay on the outside of it or go in last. Okay, you have to mount these sliding doors in the center of this cabinet. All right, come here, friend. What you want to do is slide the top in, lift up, bring the bottom in. Once that's done, go ahead and get your ladder. That's in, he's gonna hook the one side. Remember the little ears. Going last. Okay. It's a little tricky, but that's okay. It's a tight fit. Once the one side is in, get the other side. Okay, we got this one installed. Now what you want to do is slide it so that the metal piece on the bottom is in this trap. You'll see that, you'll see that little groove right there. 
and that's where it goes. Just like that. And when you close them, you just bring them to the center. And you'll see that these doors are not level. And the way you adjust that is by turning this bolt right here on each bookcase to get it to the right height. Okay, now that the cabinet uh, doors are level, working properly, this is what they should look like. Okay? That should be tight. This should be flush. Okay? And you do it by adjusting these bolts right here. Okay? And you slide with these. They drag anywhere. The bottom is dragging and lift the bookcase up. And you may have to do the other one too so that they're level. Once that's done, you uh, set them back inside the cabinet on the base. So you can see this base right here has a hook. The bed has like this uh, piece sticking out on the side that rides on this hook. You got this on each side, okay? And that part right here has to sit on this hook. Then you fasten the control arm to the base by running this machine screw through this arm with a nylon washer right here and then it goes through the base and you put your nut on the other side. Go ahead and let him look at this right here. I'll show it again. This bolt goes through here, then a nylon washer goes on, then it runs through this hole in the hook, then at the other end you put the nut on. Now you install the springs. Okay, I'll show, show you how one is installed. You just take a flathead screwdriver, lift it up that way, and hook it in. You can have four springs on one side, three on the other. That's no problem. Mattresses are going to vary big time in weight, from Tempur-Pedic to uh, uh, just a regular uh, inner spring mattress. Uh, they, will, they will vary big time. All right, at this point, I'll screw on the mercury switch. Hold on, Sergio, I'll be right back. Use this two short screws. I got the mercury switch right here. Now what I have is the touch dimmer is plugged into one end of this box. The other end of this box is plugged into the wall for power. Then you want to find a board that you can screw it into. As you can see, there's not a board everywhere in this foundation. This weld spot right here goes up. This weld spot on the face of this mercury switch goes up. So you mount it right here, like that.
Actually, it's uh, a little better. I'll run this cord through there, like that. You can't get it through this other part. It's real tight. Run that in. This is actually an extension cord plugged into the wall because this won't reach. You can do that if you need, need to. I don't have an outlet right behind this bed. Just leave like, like that. You can put a tie right here if you wish. Then you want to test it. What should happen here, the light should come on. When you raise the bed up, it should kill the lights. If this ever does not happen, disconnect the lights. Don't have no power going to them. Call us. We'll send you another mercury switch. And, uh, that'll handle the problem. The reason is, as you can see, the lights are very close to the mattress. That mercury switch kills the power when the bed is up. If these lights ever stay on with this bed up and you leave for a length of time, it's, it'll cause a fire. You're only about a couple inches away from that light. It's a halogen light that gets hot. And it'll be pert near up against your mattress. So just keep that in mind. Always make sure the lights are out when the bed is up. And if they ever stay on with the bed up, unplug it, call us, and we'll take care of the problem for you. Okay, we'll be right back. Now we want to put these uh, covers on, the sliding bookcases, to hide this hardware. And the way you want to do it is, is this route here is the front. Go down like that, then you use a one inch screw and you just go through the hole, center it in the space. Okay, I'm not going to screw this one in because I got this one screwed in. But these screws just go right through here, right through the holes, a one inch screw, and you tack them on that way. You also need to run a one inch screw on the track. One at each end. You see that hole right there at the bottom? There's one at each end you need to screw in. Okay? The mattress has already been put on this bed. The slant headboard, you just lean it up like that, you're ready to lay down. Touch dimmers right behind the headboard. It'll fold up automatically when you raise the bed. The leveler feet caps look like this. Now you go over the holes in this cover. They go over the holes in the track at the bottom. They also go over the holes inside your cabinet. Those are the leveler feet holes. They've been adjusted so that the cabinet sits level and up against the wall. Now, again, I want to point out, this is not uh, this is a, a standard 
library wall bed. The only difference between standard is our standard units have doors on the top with lights in it so that you would have to connect these two lights and plug them into another outlet to touch them or two. Um, it's, it's handled the same way as the interior of the Murphy bed. The light's in there. Now you're ready to put all your shelves in, place them where you want. That takes care of it. Hopefully this is an easy assemble for you guys. And if you have any trouble, feel free to call us at Hardwood Artisans, area code 703-643-1044. Have a good day.